manual all those things can be avoided and bring back to the original condition that I was saying. Recycling in case of multi-side, there is a mechanism to rewrite using a possible other sensor to bring into the room. These are the type of features uh, which we have like in one case or in the select vision condition or in the LED bulb sort of things or payload operations. These are all the devices that is called mechanism in case as well. Now, specifically, the autonomous features in different levels here. Level E, we call basically internal to the system. That means the system to where there are possible levels. Like that is like watch on the time based and exposure based system where it is like hanging in such condition to get into the figure. Or like pressure failure where particular type of thing is stuck failure sort of thing. Then memory uh, type of memory single bit uh, type of error like uh, that have been covered by transfer mechanism. Like bus failure. Applications, I don't know if it will be used on 
the total structure of the autonomy and communication mechanism will be in the system. Now, if I take a basically temporal way of permanent failure, basically harder parts than a particular it can be a permanent failure, or it can be like a single end of the sort of thing. Special parts like numerical errors, divide where these are exceptions, these are all handled through software. <coughs> But data sets of those things are there, automatically there are exception by then those will be added. Then design is available, this is very less as such if we take because a lot of testing will be done in the ground and we will not expect that all things. But sometimes what happens based on the annual conditions that are modified in the big part of it, those will not be under the inline communication failure, building subsystem and temperature and other activities that are supposed to be offered. Basic driver of the other two. Then there are types of basic types of assets today. These are elements of spacecraft like gyro, elevator, star sensor, and basically different degree design RT architecture depend upon the number of systems connected to the media player. Where basically we need to reactivate the spacecraft. Where the case of like over speed entities or like we fail. Such cases, this will come in the future. Just have to have that also case. That will come in the future. Then finally, in case of stars, power it is. It is not for already. There are hidden mechanisms to operate. So, these are like basically if you take gyro, like there are sensing mechanisms to tell the health. Like sync loss. Basically, periodically there will be a particular like gyro runs at a particular speed. And then if there is speed difference, that will indicate by sync loss. Similarly, sync talking, that in case when they are properly not operating, there may be periodic in talking, like if it was not required at time of failure, low speed, that means there will connect, the suppose to run particular speed, but it has a different speed, where it may not be properly interpreting the rate information, data speed, that means like certain failure, it may be due to communication, or data at some things like that, or artificial failure, that is like a link failure between the error system and these are type of parameters taken to identify the parts in the system. Other algorithms and other things like that, for example, then there are ways that is relating to like the detection for the entity, then artificial. This is for interface, then the data component of the system. These are the parameters to determine the state. Start with the if I take data, a lot of entities are there. This is depends upon the system. It is not that uh, particular like our standards are particularly these are all error free, like that. This is possible. There is a time freeze or attitude is not proper, and then data error, there are data error, then voltage monitoring of the star sensor, some verification, then star appendix in condition. This may not be a permanent failure, but it happens as due to certain entity first failure. These are the things we take. In case of failure, there are two systems like star sensor 1 and star 2, star sensor will be there. In case of one failure, it changes over, or both failures, like if yes, both fails to indicate star sensor, then it will be the other entities like using MRS. That is, must require signal to the other type of sensor by captain or four by use mechanical thing, or the other is to use that. Then, the logic system, like particularly when particular data patterns are not matching. The data limits are put very critical here to control identity, but it is recovering. The subject logic gets disturbed and it's wider than that. It's recovering the excess or the required case. Fifty-three, fifty-eight. Autonomous error logic for single bus failure. And particularly, continuously, RT will be monitored communication error like predefined and scheduled entities are put. Then also the time required and how much all those things are calculated. In case it doesn't complete that activity, that's why RT is not properly functioning. Then automatically it will see as a fail and it will go to the bus or there is a mechanism to go to other other entity. Like if there are red bus here, like bus A, bus B for any particular subsystem. Otherwise, basically there will be red arrow, for example, arrow there are three arrows, two in blue, two in normal. Other case, particularly as the RT failure and bus failure, it will go to other way. BC failure, normally a BC failure is related to the bus control, let us say here is AO system, that is active control system is bus controller, that here it will not be able to delay. That's also the reference like command terminal, both terminals are failed. In such data as this is bus failure, and there is a change action that takes place. Like another thing, here what happens is that communication itself is a problem, command maybe all will not work in a better because it is 
complete failure. Therefore, it becomes a airport inflation where automatically other uh, attitude control system will get activated and then it will come into control. So, this is resumes activating continuing current mode by non circuit system like what you get as the remote control. In trying to be otherwise, it is like one system can be bypassed. Thank you. 
doesn't result in anything there because our mission goal is to capture mass. That's the entity. That's the other point. Like in India, if I tell the performance, like in orbit, may not be the what you decide. Slightly it may be uh, higher or lower than that. But it ensures that it reaches the mass. That's the other. Basically, we are in from where there are particular configuration can be set in condition like basic. It will go like so. Power
get time to introduce Subramanian, but uh, he comes from ISRO, obviously, and they, he and Sudhakar have flown here this year from ISRO. Look forward to the coming and joining us for future flight software workshops as well. Uh, anybody has questions? Especially for these of um, who are trying to be a little more agile about opposition, I wonder if you guys have given specific thought to how you want to handle end of state in your autonomy. So in other words, if we have a single fault autonomy, we have two sensors to handle that. It could be designed to behave deterministically if both are gone. So did you think about that and did you come up with a common approach to handle it? Like question wise, like per like like society. There are main like system and system redundancy and sensor redundancy is there. That is basically any sensor you to take then redundant sensor. That is one thing. In both areas, if I take for example, if I take star and the four pi sensor where like sun reference. I will get. Like these two values will be compared. For example, star sensor attitudes. That is a difference. Like I particular target supposed to be there. Like if I take a particular orientation. Orientation update. Like star sensor update stops. Like orientation. Both star sensor may get into that type of thing. At that time we know that known entities are there. Like occultation region I know. Then it will be waiting. Because this attitude would have not diverged there. This particular time is supposed to come and it is not there. Then it will use the reference from the sun sensor and try to recover. That will happen. Our uh, architecture is a road rounding time synchronous system where all the tasks will be partitioned. Like tasks is basically execution function block, a time and manner where each eight second there is a hardware tick which will set like yesterday somebody is trying similar system. It is a simple architecture. There is no typical name. Okay, it's like a trim kernel which will real time execute to as such. That provided is in each cycle there is a slot level for like remote programmability. Like basically it's a pointer, basically it gives a patch pointer where I can patch it, realize it. That's the concept. Similarly for total real time visit also there is a slot. That if you can main program itself I can change. It is basically a call structure. Any call I can modify when I go to a remote asset. That means a very image of the prom and RAM and automatically I select is resident where I can be as required. That is the way. Other questions? Hi, I'm a critical language mod organ insertion. So when I was looking at your sequence levels, I didn't quite understand how that was accomplished. And basically, it is the uh, one time opportunity when we are in the orbit. This particular time, certain activity should, that is, deep activity should take place to capture the mass. Now, what happens? Like the action when I tell, 
the particularly that lamb engine where we will use the that uh, high thrust engines supposed to operate in that region in a particular time in the, of the orbit then only it captures what happens it becomes a sequencer which is best operation as such and we have to critically calculate all the time we should like basically that debugging means to attitude also should be manual will be required that way you tell the sequence of operation satellite manner should take place then it should start at a particular time then burst should stop at particular time again it should reorient then it comes that it happens now what about operation like in a critical entity if you lose you will lose you will not able to catch it in no other instant count because we will be the trajectory will be such that 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 is lost it will go out of, out of the mass it never catches that way it comes so critical in that entry every element should work there Only when you tell that enti- entity like failure occurs in that condition, like per- performance is possible. For example, like I have to fire at time, time t, the time changes by particular window. It is able to capture instead of a particular orbit like uh, you tell them 800 by like thirty thousand number. That slightly it can become different, but it catches. That happens. Contingency plans, plan A, plan B, plan C sort of thing is done. So that in case of that first phase, and second option it will select after secret is report. This it is done. Yeah. Correct. That like configurable entity. Then it will detect the particular type of performance. Like for example, lamb engine is not performing. Attitude they will be fired for all. Understood. It estimates the acceleration supposed to happen. The acceleration supposed to happen. A deviation like time-wise, if it is not matching, then typically it will put the thrust in addition to that. Anyway, there are plans. It will detect that and it will introduce that. That means available resources are completely utilized to mission goal. Okay. Are there any other? Two seconds.